Hello, Fave Years, welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. And today we're doing Teen Titans Fractured. And in this uh, problem goes up against this uh, biker named Johnny Rancid. And Johnny just keeps uh, taunting Robin, calling little Kinda, and Donald Robin can't really be him. And at uh, one point, yes, yes, he has hurt, luckily. Raven is able to minimize the injury to a fractured arm and said Robin still has to wear a cast for a while. Um, Robin just feeling down uh, for himself for making a mistake. And yeah, this, they do have quite an interest in that there are times think he's going to go after uh, Johnny and they give out to him for or the wrong gal gal from forever try to keep keep him from the mission. But Rom just wants to get the tear mode and watch TV and think that, that they can handle join themselves. But then they get a visitor that comes out of a uh, Rom's head. Yeah, this guy that looks like Rom but has a magic finger that can uh, warp Reality. Beast Boy decides to name him uh, Larry since they currently pronounce his uh, actual name, which is just uh, Dick Grayson backwards. And uh, Larry's kind of goofy. Just, just like zipping around everywhere, making a mess, being positive. Um, just wants to help Robin. And. Um, I don't know him Robin have uh, the same uh, DNA and that's that's because uh, Larry is a uh, Robin from a different universe and I don't know if it's a fit dimension so he seems similar to Mrs. Piglick and uh, Batmite but hmm and when the other time so after uh, Johnny uh, Larry tries to fix uh, Robin's air, uh, but it he just said uh, turns it into either an elephant said uh, trunk or a chainsaw hand or some other stuff. And uh, Robin is probably thinking that uh, Larry is being too over helpful because they're into a bit, bit of a uh, skirmish. Um, when Robin just throws Larry onto the ground and Larry breaks his magic finger, reality gets broken. The inside works there looks like it's something that his grandmother put on her, on her fridge. And Beast Boy lo uh, loses his mouth. And now he takes Ravens, who said, who thought it was a good thing that Beast Boy lost his mouth. Yeah. And yeah, and Robin did try to get Raven to heal Larry's finger, but Raven with the cyborg mount is to tell him tell him it's a bad idea because both both their powers mix things and go to a, a Cronenberg level of bad. So the Titans do try to get to a Titans Tower, where. The fifth mental or reality bend energy is, but to get had to uh, uh, fight a, a, a monster that looks like some a kid drew. And there's a good montage, it says stick figures. And I've already asked about the montage from uh, the map mods episode, but still. And if they make it to Titan's Tower and yeah, Sapphire's head has wings at the side and that's he gets off his body. I don't know. And I do find it a little funny that when Sapphire tries accessing uh, the codes into uh, the Titan's Tower, it just those raspberries. Hmm. And so I do get where the a rowdy bed energy is, but 
Johnny there as well, and yeah, he just say uh, gets uh, bu uh, buffed up when he goes into it and turns the world into darkness and uh, thunderstorms. But I do find what I really think is cool. Ugh. And the other time is mine, Robin do try to stop. Uh, rancid, but it doesn't really work. I have mentioned that a beast boy actually found him out, but he put on backwards. Yeah, that beast was a uh, voice actor has some fun talking backwards, but uh, that up. And uh, why are you just uh, taking the rum level the same day, but rum doesn't have that much like, confidence thinking they make another mistake. The uh, life reminds uh, Robin why he's here because he just keeps trying. So the two are still after him, runs and eventually uh, he is defeated and Rowley is back where he was. It's a bad beat boy still talking backwards, but I was saying they're probably wear off at some point. And I. Again, Raven thinking that the the giant rats world look cool. Um, Rum has a bit more a uh, positive attitude since uh, he has to allow to try once more to heal his arm. And yeah, it worked. The Rum winds up in a white void. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think the I. Good goofy episode. I also like that. That's how Larry gets singing the Japanese uh, uh, opening to the Teen Times show. Oh, yeah, and Larry's also voiced by D. Bradley Baker. So, yeah, I'd expect him to be good since he's one of the, the best uh, voice actors uh, out there. And uh, it seems like Sapphire was the only one to actually enjoy uh, Larry's. Uh, Company since uh, he made her laugh and she actually thinks he's cute. Hmm. And so about uh, Rob not doing what he usually does after he gets that really get he gets a defeat or something. I guess in that uh, Ransom said uh, taunt that he uh, got to Rob and his uh, 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 confidence was kind of like not not really sharp but probably. A wavering, and um, that's probably no reason why Larry uh, can because he kind of maybe he talk Rom's confidence will go a bit downhill, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, I think that Rancid's uh, voice actor did a good job as well, and I think that Amir's. Has fun in this episode too. And uh, yeah, and uh, next time we're doing the Mumbo episode. So if you think you've seen Weirdness, you haven't seen nothing yet. And next time, I'll see you guys later.